You and I are gonna trade poop, and you know what that is. That's when I poop in your butthole, and you poop it back, and forever and ever, we poop back and forth, back and forth. I just can't take it, man, that's so fucking weird. WEIRD! There's something on the way. Some thing. I'm gonna blow up this door. And ladies and gentlemen, I present to you... Quackermire. Look how cute he is! He's like the coolest boss in this entire game. Um, yeah, greetings everybody and welcome back to some more Super Metroid! We start off this little session part with a boss fight right away. It's Crocomire with his eight eyes, so maybe four, and we're just gonna shoot in his face until he backs away. Nothing more, nothing less. He's so cute! He's doing that little strouncy motion with his arms, like, ah, oh, I'm coming, boy! Oh, he's getting very aggressive. Oh shit, it's blocking my shots! Fuck! Come on, dude, stop it! He just froze up on me. <laughs> I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Oh, there we go. Yeah, 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 no more shit from your mouth. Stop blocking my shoots! That's the way the cookie crumbles! Hello, Crocomire, how are you doing down there? You're looking a little bit warm, should I... F <laughs> Man, this is so violent. For SNES standards. Now, you should actually follow him. But I'm gonna do this. Oh wait, let's see if I can get this now. No! Oh, almost. I was going wanted to jump a little bit higher, but still. That works for me. So hope you're all having a fantastic day, because today is um, January something. I think it's 13. Yeah, it is 13. Because today I actually went to the dentist. And you know what they did? They just fucking blew off my tooth. Like, Crims, your tooth looks ridiculous! And they started drilling in it, and it was so painful. And this boss fight continues for a little bit more. Oh my god, I'm on fire! Oh shit, that wall was not very safe. Hello! He just came to say one last goodbye. How nice of him. And that's it. Yes, I went to the dentist today, and they fixed one of my holes in one of my wisdom two teeth. And uh, it was quite painful, but no worries. I took it like a man. Hey, Crimson, you're not a man. Well, actually, I tried to be. And you can just jump up like this. Uh, when I saw Game Grubs a series on this game, they spent like two episodes just trying to get up there. And they tried multiple uh, ways, which was um, quite interesting, but very hard to no avail. When you can just, you know, take a running start and just jump up normally. But you need a high jump, but at this point in the game, you will have the high jump, so no problems at all. To the right is a safe point, but I'm gonna take that for later. Oh, this place. It's insane. Now, recently, I began using uh, scheduled uploads, which um, I first thought you need to be uh, a YouTube partner in order to use that. Oh, look at that! So sexy! A YouTube partner to do that, you know, monetize your videos and that shit. But um, I did that. I started monetizing, but I disabled monetizing every single video. So I am eligible for doing that, but I'm not going to. I'm just using that status in order to use scheduled uploads. That way I can make a lot of parts, schedule them up for like uh, weeks, and during that time I can focus on other stuff, you know, like music and shit. So that's my plan. In this place we'll be needing a running start, but first let's get rid of these. Watch out for these birds! And let's see, uh, you need to use the power bomb. Uh, right here, I think. How sexy. Now instead of running right up, I mean, taking a launching jump. Shit. <laughs> uh, I want to make a sp shine spark right up there. And that's the um, official name for this, you know, when you go like this and then you fly really crazy. So let's see if we can look like this, and then just go to the right. 
You see, this game is just so fucking fun. That's why I can't wait to be doing another session of it. I just go right ahead. Man, I had some shitty days recently. Now, um, when it was January 11th, I got a text from the dentist saying, you know, a reminder. And I thought, and I didn't read it clearly. And I thought the reminder was that you have the dentist the next day. They usually do that, you know. A reminder, tomorrow you're gonna have a dentist appointment. And I got the grappling bee. Yeah. Um, so that's it. And so I went there very early because it was like um, half past 7 a.m. Which my time was. And uh, <laughs> for the past week, like or like 10 days, I have gone up like 1 p.m. every single day, being a night owl and all that shit. And so just all of a sudden I need to go up at 7 a.m. and get my ass to the doctor, I mean dentist. And um, yeah, just figure out how that went. I went there, tired as fuck, about to get my tooth drilled, not in the best mood. And then they're like, no, we sent out the reminder actually two days before, so you can just go with your sorry ass home. And that's what I had to do. So I went home in the storm. It was dark as fuck since it's winter. And it was stormy. I had uh, blisters on my feet because I walked a long way on the 10th. And just fuck. I went home and like slept the entire day. That was such a waste. But after that, me and Nana watched um, Toy Story 3. And that was really nice. I like that. It's a very good movie. We saw all three movies in the course of um, like five days. Man, now we're done with that place. Man, that went a lot faster. We did this in one part. In less than one part even. Wait a second, let me see if I didn't, if I did miss something. We got the item to the right and the one up there. We did not explore the entire map, but uh, fuck it. Uh, no more items, so. We are done with this shit. Now, there is a little icon right here, right? And for the longest time, I thought there was like, you know, an item here. Something to get. But there is nothing here. It's just that the boss was there. So I think that's just a mini boss icon. Now when we have the grapple beam, we can do all sorts of crazy shit. Look at that, now he's fat. How sad. Oh shit, we only have five super missiles? We haven't gotten a single capacity upgrade. Ain't that a shit sandwich. So let's go out of no fair. More like not fair! Oh! So fucking bad, Crims. Go to bed. <laughs> and I failed. Straight up. And I did it again. And again. And again. <laughs> wow, trip quadruple fail. Isn't this a wonderful day? Speaking of that, I really hope that you guys are having a very good day. It means so much. I don't know why, it just does. I'm sitting here with a big old bowl of water. <laughs> yeah, I'm not using a glass of water, I'm using a bowl. That's how I roll. No, but I have like one liter of, uh, or liter, I forget, of water. And it's going to last me for an eternity. So let's get that fuck out of here. We've been here for like, what is it, four episodes? Yes. So in other news, um, my newest song, The Badlands, is looking to be 14 and a half minutes long. Holy shit. And uh, the skeleton is almost done. And very soonly I will be start I will be starting the recording sessions. That's going to be so irritating, and I'm going to scream and yell and hate every pony. It's not going to be a pretty sight. But man, when it's done, it's going to be a blessing. I hope that song will be worth it, because I've spent over 200 hours on that project so far. I mean, it's a 14 and a half minute song, and I'm very picky when it comes to, you know, quality and good takes. All of that shit. And lyrics. <laughs> I really suck at the writing lyrics, and that takes a long time 
for me to not look at them and say, man, this is the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. So now we can go in here and explore this place. You see, there is a light thing, light enemies, but if you just freeze them, they will not, you know, die. So we can pass them without getting hurt and without uh, turning off the light. And I'm stuck. So here we're using the grapple beam to get across this. Now you can do this without the gravel beam, but this part over here makes it quite hard because you see there are spikes fuck everywhere and you lose a lot of health in the long run. So then get up here wall jumping on this little ledge. It can be very tricky. For the inexperienced one. Once. And guess what, good folks, what we find in this little thingy. Find out next time! See ya guys.